Hey girls, it's Sister Songster, and I'm super excited to be with you today. Um, so I've been working a little bit with your leaders, and I found out what your topic is for Girls Camp, or not topic, sorry, theme. Um, and it's shine where you are, and I think that that's super awesome for a lot of reasons. Um, but we'll get into that a little bit later. So we're going to be doing a painting class, and I'm really excited and I hope you guys are too so um, a couple things before we start uh, I'm at home with my kids so hopefully we're not interrupted but if we are I have a pocket full of Tootsie Pops so hopefully that will do the trick um, I'll be working on a bigger canvas you guys should have a 5x5 five five smaller canvas I chose a bigger one just so that you guys could see it on a larger scale so I wasn't like, here's the painting, you know. So I wanted it to be a bigger scale for you guys. Um, well, you guys have some different shades of blue that y'all are welcome to play with, but I'm just going to be using blue, black, white, and maybe a little bit of purple. We'll see if I feel like it. Um, with the theme, Shine Where You Are, I really liked the thought of, um, like, a shooting star. So, like, it's it shines really bright in the darkness. People get really excited when they see them. They're just a really cool, unique, spacey feature that Heavenly Father has given us. So, today we're going to be painting a sky, like a night sky with a shooting star. And it's going to be awesome. So... Before we start, y'all should have in front of you your canvas, your paint brushes, your paint. You're going to want a cup of water to wash your brush with and some paper towels, which that reminds me, I don't have paper towels. Hold on. <laughs> I got a washcloth, and I know you're probably like, Sister Songster, don't use a washcloth. Acrylic paint doesn't come out, but you know what? Everything in my house has paint on it. That's what happens when you're a painter. So, um, what else? We are working with acrylics. Your, your leaders have provided you guys with acrylic paint. So, acrylic paint, if it gets on your clothes, it does not come out. So, just know that <laughs> doesn't come out good luck all right so the first thing we're gonna do is get our paintbrush wet and then pat it a little bit on your napkin you just kind of want to start with a nice damp brush you're gonna want to be using one of your larger brushes now I'm gonna say that I'm gonna move at a little bit of a faster pace um, and it may not be faster since my canvas is so big but I wanted it to kind of be a quick pace so that the video isn't super duper long. Um, and you guys painting, y'all can go back and like rewind the video or, you know. So you can play it back if there's certain areas that you needed help with. So with our damp brush, we're going to pick up our darkest blue. And we're going to start at the top of our canvas for the night sky. So just get in there, don't be afraid. One of my favorite things about painting is like having that fresh canvas and just slathering that first bit of paint on there. Probably my favorite part. <laughs> you think it would be like completing a painting, but it's probably just like a stark white canvas and then you just start slathering it on. So if you see, I'm using a lot of, I like to add water to my paint because the paint I use is pretty thick. So if your paint seems really thick, just get some water in your brush and mix it up if, if you want. So um, I'm using long strokes all the way across the canvas. So we're going to want to do that um, just to create like a, a long effect of like a night sky going across. We don't want to do up and down or side to side, just the same 
motion across is going to give it a really cool effect. So you don't want globs and globs of paint on your brush, but you also don't want too little. You know, make sure you got a good, I mean, I'm, I'm using about, I don't know how well you can see that. My brush is pretty gloopy, but that's not a bad thing. You want enough to work with. Once I get um, about halfway down, you're going to want to get your edges. So I'm going, I'm going to turn it. You don't need to really see me anymore. Sorry, guys. You would think me being sort of a youngster, I'd be tech savvy, but I'm totally not. Alright, so there's canvas. I'm going almost halfway down with just that bright cobalt kind of solid blue or whatever blue that you chose. This background is just, a, it's going to be our night sky. So it's going to go from dark and then into lighter. Whoop, see? Everybody makes mistakes. I always drip paint. Um... Doing my edges, make sure you get those edges. It just makes it look a little bit cleaner and nicer. But you know, now that I'm thinking about it, your 5x5 five five canvases may not have edges. They may be like a flat canvas. And what's great about those, the smaller sizes that you guys have, is that you really can kind of hold them in your hand, which makes it more um, manageable. So at this time, now that I'm almost halfway down, you guys are going to be like, Sister Songster, are you crazy? But don't worry, just hang with me. You're going to get your brush a little bit wet and pick up a big glob of white. So at this time, I am currently realizing that you guys probably have one solid tub of white. So you might want to take a big glob of white and set it to the side, like on your paper towel or somewhere, because you're going to need just a tiny bit of clean white for our stars. Okay, give you a second to do that. So I have the damp brush. It's still full of blue paint. And now I picked up a big glob of white. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start about an inch up into my blue, right up there. And I'm going to do the same going across motion. And what it's going to do is make that somewhat ombre effect. I can go back up. And I can go back down. Kind of like an ombre sunset. I'm not picking up any more paint. I'm just picking up a little bit of water. And I'm mixing it and see how it's going from dark to light. So just kind of see where you need your color. I'm pulling a little. So this is, we actually, in the paint world, we call this pulling paint. So I'm pulling a little bit of this darker blue and I'm bringing it down. I'm pulling that color down into here. See how we're kind of getting that effect? This is how you can do a lot of like uh, sunsets, ocean scenes, just any kind of gradient color scheme that you're looking to do. That is how you do it. So I'm going to keep getting my brush wet. I'm not going to wash any of that blue out, and I'm going to pick up more white, and I'm going to drag it all the way down. So right now, this currently does not look that great. Oh my goodness, we're already nine minutes in. That is wild. Time flies when you're having fun. I'm watching my time because I just didn't want to make like a crazy long video, but we'll see how long this takes us. Alright, so I'm bringing that light blue down, a little more water, just work with the paint on your canvas, brush it around, you don't want, you don't want it to be too wet because then you'll just be, the brush strokes will just bring you all down to the canvas and the paint won't really stick. I know that I'm doing some weird, I'm just trying to get that edge, but then I'm going to quickly go back and straighten it out sorry it's kind of it's kind of hard to paint like I'm kind of behind my canvas right now all right so once I have everything 
covered. Let me go up one more time. Slowly making my way up. Okay, now that I'm here, you can still, you see how, you, when you look at my canvas, it's, we did kind of the blending, we pulled the colors in, but I can still clearly see where the dark blue, the medium, and the white. So now I'm going to, I'm not washing my brush, I want all that color that's still in there. I'm going to get my brush a little bit wet. I'm going to pick up quite a bit of just pure dark blue, the color that we started with at the top of our canvas. And I'm going to start here, and I'm just making my way down. Stop. Go back to the top. See how I pulled that light color in? Back to the top. And I'm making my way down, so hopefully this is quite a bit easier on your smaller canvases. I'm getting a workout. Quarantine workout. <laughs> okay, so I am pretty happy with my blending where I'm at. It's kind of a night sky starting. I think looking at it now, I might have gone a little bit darker. If I were to start over, I probably would have gone a little bit darker, but this room right now is really bright. I wanted to have a lot of light for the video. So, this is going to be my night sky. At this point, I'm going to wash my brush really well, and I'm going to use a smaller brush if I've got it. So with my smaller brush I'm using, I'm going to get the brush wet. And we are going to throw a tree on our canvas. Throw a tree, I know. You're probably like, what the heck? So my brush is nice and damp. I'm going to pick up a little bit of black. And you can pick out anywhere you want your tree. The middle, the right, the left. I'm going to put mine a little bit off-centered. And I'm going to start it like so. It's just a line right now. So just pick a line, and that's going to be your starting point. The thing with trees is, is a lot of people do like a big, fat trunk. And then they try to even it out and even it out on each side to make it straighter or a different way. And they end up with a big, fat tree. So we're going to start off with a really skinny tree. That way we can add to it, if that makes sense. So I'm just slowly, if I want a wide angle, I keep my brush wide. And if I want to get, get a skinny branch, I turn it to the side. So right here I'm keeping it wide. And then I'm turning it in my hand to the skinny. So really take your time on your tree. I'm just going to kind of throw this tree in there. I'm not going to do much thinking about it. But you girls take as much time as you need, even if you want to come back to the tree in a little bit, add a branch here or there. A lot of good things with um, painting is when I take a step back. Sometimes looking at my canvas really up close, um, I see things that I'm not a big fan of, or I'm like, oh, I don't like this, and I start to get frustrated. Um, but when I take a step back and look at my painting from a distance, uh, there's a lot of times that I see that I actually really like it. Or I might take a step back and think, ooh, I really want to throw a branch in over here. Or, you know, it feels like the tree is a little heavy on one side. Let me add more branches on this side. So if you guys want to take a step back, you feel free to do it. So, here's my tree. I'm just going to... Throw a few more branches in there, and call it a day. To be honest, in a little bit, I might go back in and throw a few more little branches on there. And we don't want it to necessarily look like a dead tree. It's just kind of the shadow of a tree, like, in the evening. 
yeah, I'm going to go back in a little bit and add a few more branches. But for now, I'm going to leave it as is. Uh-oh, I hear screaming in the living room. Hope everyone survives. <laughs> okay, so at this point, I've washed all the black out of my smaller brush. If you have a really small brush, feel free to use it. Hold on. Okay, sorry, I was going to pick out a brush. Now we're going to use our clean white. You don't want to use the white that has the um, blue in it. And you know, I did have some purple that I thought I might throw into my sky and I decided I'd rather not. So, if, in case you're wondering, like, what was she going to do with that purple? I never even used it. So, I have my bright white. And what I'm doing here is I'm using the end of my paintbrush. Here's the bristles on one end. I am using this pointy, not pointy end, but the rounded end. And I'm actually going to put some stars in. Can you guys see those? I'll move the phone. Throwing some stars in. So I'm just going to put stars all over the place, all different sizes. This one kind of dripped a little, so I'm going to make it kind of asterisk -y. I know, I make up a lot of words. So once I've thrown in some little stars like that, I'm going to take my bristled in. I'm going to throw in a few bigger ones. You can drop one or two down low. This is your sky. Make it however you want. Okay, I'm going to kind of make this one bigger. You can do asterisks. You can do all sorts of things for your night sky. I want to add a few more like l little ones. I like the way the little night sky looks with lots, like when you look up in the sky and you're like, there's millions of little stars. I like the tiny ones. So I'm going to throw a few more tiny ones. And the last thing that I'm going to do is take one big blob of white. Big blob of white. And I'm going to... Hmm, you're, wherever you put this blob of white is where your shooting star is going to be. So I'm going to place mine right here and leave it. So here is my flat blob or fat little blob of white. So with the theme, Shine Where You Are, it really made me think about, um, I think, here comes somebody. I don't want to. It's right here. Give her a Tootsie Pop. The joys of motherhood. Alright. So, when I think about the, the theme of Shine Where You Are, I was thinking how a lot of times, as girls or as women, we always are thinking about, like, I wish, you know, I knew more about this. Or I wish my hair was longer. Or I wish I was skinnier. Or I wish I was... Tanner, or I wish this part of my body was different, or I wish I had these types of clothes, or I wish I had gotten this part in the play, or I wish I, you know, like, it's always I wish, I wish, or, you know, um, if only I were here, then I would be okay, and I love the thought of just shine where you are. You are exactly where you're supposed to be, and we are all daughters of our Heavenly Father, and He made us perfectly in His image. And we are more than enough. And whenever we allow our light to shine, um, it allows others to shine as well. It, what's that word I'm thinking of? Not like invigorates them, but it, it, it gives them that freedom. When we're confident and we just are who we are and we're happy, the people who are around us can feel that and they want that too. Um, one of the greatest things that I've learned is the more that I am just myself, 
the more people seem to like me, that I don't need to be anything that I'm not, that I can shine exactly where I am. So at this time, I want you to take your finger, just a dry finger, and you're going to put it on that blob of paint. So put it on the blob, and then we're just going to streak it across. That is our shooting star. That is you. When you decide to shine, all of these stars are people around you. When you decide to shine bright, you leave that streak through their lives. They're going to remember you, and you're going to find freedom in yourself as well, the joy of just being who you are. And there's a lot of, a lot of joy. We all have different personalities and characteristics, and we all look different, and that's what's awesome. Um, Heavenly Father made us you know, different human beings. It'd be boring if we were all the same. So, there is our evening sky with our shooting star, and I hope it's a friendly reminder to you guys to shine where you are. Um, I love you guys so much. Thanks for letting me share a fun talent with you, and I hope to see you guys at church soon.